Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Today's video, we are going to be looking at that umbrella guy and a couple of responses he's had over the last 17 to 18 hours. This all started with someone called Glenn. And it's going on about, obviously, when you've had Renfamous and a few of her cronies were attacking Tug with CPS, Child Protection Services, and a few other things regarding his family. And then when Tug came out and said, well, I've called the police and I've got a lawyer already for this, they were like, we haven't said anything. We haven't said anything of the sort. And... The best quote for this is, facts don't lie and facts don't care about your feelings because Tug has got screenshots and so has many other people. So the tweet come out from Glenn. I see that Umbrella is taking Tom out of his busy schedule of faking threats to his own child and drawing shitty looking funny books to put in a shift on the Mignogna sponsored harassment campaign. These people are pathetic. And then you got a lot of people as well who are supporting Tug and just like, well, who is he harassing and how? Nobody. My point was, how is he responding to a screenshot harassment? It's not. There was no call to action, nothing implied other than his interest in the contents of a screenshot. Then you had uh, Glenn come back. As I don't doubt for a second, you already know, Tug and his friend Yellow Flash Guy and other Vic stands have been harassing the woman in question, among others, for months now. She put her opinions on a public forum with attention to making some kind of social change. Then Tug went back to him. They want a world where one can go for months on Twitter, Tumblr, Resetera, more. Smear and slander, but never be challenged. If challenged, poor me, I'm just a bullied girl only. F that noise. It's so degrading to both victims they create and women they use as shields. And this is when it gets even more. This Glen guy goes... Seems rich coming from someone who made up a story about their child being threatened so they could play the victim themselves. With that, it goes to show how moronic and idiotic Glenn is. Because obviously we all had the screenshots. We had the one from Raised by Wolves. I don't know, Tug, I think a call to Child Protective Services to check up on Umbrella Girl may be in order. You had that one. You also got the one of Chrysophone. No, they're just married. Lola has posted tons of pictures of their daughter on Twitter. Just Google Lola Meets and pull up the images and scroll. I assume the little girl on Tug's book is based on their daughter. So they're even going on Google looking for Tug's daughter, who is under the age of 10, by the way. So that just makes it even more disgusting of these type of people and what they're doing. And out of this is one guy called Andrew who just keeps popping up in Tugs's uh, feed and he keeps saying that Tug is a liar and so forth. So this is what I really like about Tug as well, if you notice. So I'm going to pop this up on the tweet uh, now. Don't worry, Andrew. I made sure to screenshot it all and it'll make a lovely video. That's the wonder of this shit. You get that folder and you look like a fool. The fuck thing is, this is a comic person and their ilk. Support better. I'm going to go into the tweet now. So you add... Yeah, your interactions with SJW Spider-Man, who is uh, suspended, um, I may uh, add, were very telling about what you folks see as problems. You signed off on people attacking my family because Andrew and I never had to worry about CPS. You know what type of BS you encouraged, but hey, mean words, it said plenty. And what he's done, he's uh, got an actual copy of the screenshot here by Shane or whatever his name is, to EVS, which is to Ethan. I have no idea which comic skater you're referring to because I've seen so many comic skaters do it. You yourself have frequently repeated this gross made-up mean girl gossip, although without using the word whore, so I guess you think it's okay. And Andrew came in with, you're lying again. But then, this is where it gets better. Just with Andrew saying that one little tweet, that umbrella guy hit back with, I knew you'd pop in to try and claim it didn't happen, that you folks weren't in there with your pal SCW Spider-Man worsening the CPS mess, because that is what you do. Pretend your words didn't happen. So here, 
So he gives a Twitter archive and he also gives the archive as well. And this archive, it shows a screenshot. You know what? He's right. Andrew and I have never been in the situation where we felt the need to pay someone to call CPS for us and convince them not to come to our house. He really got us there. Well, straight away that does show about the CPS issue and everything else and Tug actually had to get in touch with them himself so like, because you know, these people are falsely accusing me of harming my daughter. But then Andrew comes back with, I'm blocking your lying delusional self before you get any ideas about doing anything really dangerous. Which, again, coming from an SJW and on the kick Vic side, this is all what they all do. If they don't like you or if you've got evidence to back up your uh, tweets, they literally just block you. They don't like it because the, you know, you're showing them proof that everything has happened and they're like, no, no, don't like you, blocking you, I, I can't see it. If I can't see it, it's not true. This is exactly how they are. All these people who keep going after Tug and Yellow Flash and so forth, and they really need to start looking at what they're posting, mostly because people are going to take screenshots. You know, Tug has just proved this, and Tug's got a folder, Yellow Flash has got a folder, hell, even I got a folder on my main laptop and my main PC. And on my hard drive. I've got three separate folders. And they're all on there. Everything these people have said. Every single thing that they think. Is is fine to say online. That's probably the best way to put it. And they really don't understand it. They think oh yeah whatever. You don't care. And it's really funny. Sticking with Tug. And a few other things. We have... Um, Obviously, as I said before, SJW Spider-Man has been suspended, but he has not only ran one account, but he's also spreading hate through two accounts. There was one, uh, he had SJW Scarlet Spider, that one has been uh, deleted now, but he's done another one where he supposedly, his actual one is called Mentaloflex, and this is thanks again to that umbrella guy. Damn. So apparently, SGW Spider-Man ran not one account, Comicsgate Bob, spreading hate, but two. And the tweet he has done is from Cayman, or Carmen. SGW Spider-Man, you mean this guy? Never forget. And we got a screenshot from last year of SGW Spider-Man saying, Are you pro-gay rights like gay adoption? I don't think gay should be raising kids. Was that off base? Which... That's actually rather disturbing as well. It's very horrible that if that is him, as that's what he's done. It's not exactly right. And they just all seem to be in the same pool, if that makes any sense. So even if you go and look for that Mentalo Flex guy, the account is not actually available anymore. It's not there. It's being deleted by the looks of things, which I think is great. We're going to end this with two plugs. One plug is go and support that umbrella guy. He's only got a couple of days left on his Indiegogo. And he has reached a phenomenal amount. He has currently reached 615% of his fixed goal. Which is fantastic and congratulations uh, Turk. That's what you need mate. It's brilliant. And there's three days left. And there's a couple of things that you can still do. And if you want to go and, you know, just go and support him. Excuse me. Go and support him. It's absolutely amazing, the comic, what he's doing. And he's, you know, support better. And the last one I want to do is, as um, I've been saying on Twitter and in the last couple of videos, I want to thank everyone because obviously we've reached over 2,000 subscribers now. And I'm going to be giving a, doing a giveaway. The giveaway will be a t-shirt with a brand new logo of mine on, on the uh, chest of the t-shirt. I will be revealing it soon. But what I will be doing is, for everybody who comments and likes on the next video I do, I will, I'll be choosing a random winner from there. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see you lovely people soon.